Hey everyone, Andrew Freund here on the red carpet as the CBS stars come out to shine. All right, all right, ladies, ladies, let's let's talk here. Let's talk. Let's have the talk. Wait, no, it's always the right time to have the talk. Yeah. Um, so tell me about, you know, this coming season, I know the show runs year round, but tell me about what we're gonna see coming up. What are we, give me a little tease. Give me give me that CBS something. Well, you know, whenever uh, any show launches a new season, you wanna do something a little bit different that sets it apart from last season, even though we run year round. So we have decided, I can't totally give it away, we're going to- It says this on my mic, Julie. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> In due time, we will announce it, but we're gonna transform uh, the way we look. Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be, I think, a very revealing start to the season. Yes. So, so that do that doesn't mean that you're gonna come out in costume. Oh no. Well, we well, it's well not that we can't say. We, we can't say. cannot say. You have to watch. Should, yeah. I think we have. I think we can own that piece of real estate as a daytime show coming out in costume. We do. I think yeah. We dominate. We dominate that part of the field for sure. That's so season two. That <laughs> costume fit. Yeah. Totally. So, who are some of the dream guests? I know we spoke about this a little yeah. bit a few weeks ago. But who are some of your guys' dream guests? Katie that Holmes. Have? Right now, she oh, yeah. is a woman that everybody around the world wants to hear from. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think she's going to talk, but if she does, and when she's ready, Hi, Katie. Yeah, and also, I think, I think one thing that guests really remark about is our show's a very safe place to come. It's not a show where we're going to pounce on you. It's not a show where we're going to rock you back on your heels. So it would be a very safe and lovely place to come and talk, yes. Katie, if you want to come. We're, we're kind. We're kind on our show. And who are your, who, who, who do you want on the show? We have enough chairs for the Jackson family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's true. They're, they're going through some things right now. Yeah. And we want to talk to them about what they're going through right now. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, I would just want Catherine, to be honest, right now. Ooh, just Catherine, yeah. by herself. Yeah. Not surrounded by her children, not with a written statement. Just everything I've heard about Catherine is that she's a very kind, honest yeah, woman. Right. So I want her just by herself yes. to yes. tell yeah. us what's up. Yeah. Tell me a little about the social aspect of the show. I'll, I'll ask you first, actually. You okay. know. You know, I know you guys are active on Twitter. I know you really want your fans to get involved in the show. Tell me about that. I mean, I think this year has been, we all bring our own uh, kind of uh, social media strength to the show in different aspects. I mean, obviously, Julie's been doing Big Brother for 14 seasons. Yes. This is the 15th season now, 14th season. So she's got her, you know, her fan base from there, and Cheryl's got her massive online fan base from her stand up and the shows she's done. And I've, I've been active online for a while now. So but it's nice thing, we all bring a different slice of the new, of the social media world. This year's really been about us fine-tuning that, really energizing our fans, really talking to them, getting them engaged, and also giving them the opportunity to get their comments heard on our show. Not just to comment and say to the, to the ether, hey, I love the talk, but to say to us, here's how I feel about what you guys are talking about, and then we actually bring their comments into the show. And that's been something that's been really, really successful, I think. Your two final thoughts on the social aspect of the show? You know what? We used it back in the old days before social media would scream at the television, and then the next step was we'd scream on the phone to our best friend, and now you could just type it in and text it to us and email to us, and we'll get it on the air so that your voice can be heard, because everyone wants their voice to be heard, and that's what we're doing. And, and I love the immediacy of, of what happens. You know, we could read something on the air, and I've gotten five or six people going, thank you for reading the comment, or, you know, I heard my, my handle, you know, yeah. on TV. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing. And, and they still ask, they ask about the clothes, mm -hmm. they ask different questions, did you really eat the pig brain? You know, <laughs> what made you do the Hunger Games, or how'd you feel on the Titanic? So that, it, that's a great thing, it's a great immediacy. Awesome, well thank you guys so much. I'm a huge fan of the show. Check out the show weekdays only on CBS.